A militant group, the Niger Delta Avengers, says it will begin the destruction of oil facilities in what it has called Operation Humble. The group also says it will attack politicians who collaborate with the federal government to undermine the interest of the Niger Delta region. A statement on its website claims the oil-rich region has been neglected. And a founding member and former president of the Ijo Youth Council, who's also a former militant leader, Mujahid Asari Dokubo, is joining us to talk about this. Good morning, Mr. Dokubo. Good morning. I'd like us to first begin with motive, right? What does the Niger Delta Avengers want, especially from the federal government? The questions, uh, I'm surprised at this question because uh, the Mr. present Kupo, government of General uh, Mamad Buhari had uh, literally offended every part of the country, not just the Niger Delta, not just the Southeast, not just the Southwest, not just every part of the country. And that's why you have several insurgent groups everywhere. This had never happened. Nigeria had been in bad shape for a very long time, but this, this government is something else. These things that are happening under this government had never happened before. Uh, there is a catalog of crimes committed against our people. Catalog of crime committed against our people. And to add insult or injury, there are individuals in the North who feel that they are above reprimand. They cannot be reprimanded. And uh, the government of General Mohammed Buhari had tolerated these people. In fact, they had encouraged them and urged them on. There are clowns in the north that have been making statements. Uh, granite money was used for the development of the oil field, which is a very big lie, fat, fat big lie. The north was poor. The, the reason why the British amalgamated Nigeria was because the north was poor and parasitic. They cannot continue to carry the body of the uh, budget deficit of the North. That was why they, they joined us together with them. And since then, they contribute nothing. They are parasites. And they make statements. They call themselves born to rule. And our political leadership had accepted the Southern political leadership whatever they from time immemorial had accepted uh, for the good of Nigeria, let us just follow along. We are not going to die, uh, but let us, it's better uh, instead of war, instead of uh, anarchy, we should just follow along. And that's why these people had, they become, I don't know how to describe them, but they become as if they are, God himself, they are not demigods, they are God himself. Mr. Dokubo, may, they may I? They arrogate to themselves the position of God. So, Mr. Dokubo. the government, I'm coming please, the government on one part is there standing and defending the agenda of one ethnic nationality, and then those from that ethnic nationality are poking their hands, their hands into our fingers, into our eyes, and saying all sorts of rubbish. So everybody has the right to be angry, including the Niger Delta Avenger. Okay, but um, why is it coming now? And of course, the president has also responded saying that uh, these threats are unnecessary. Uh, so why is it coming at this moment? Uh, is there something that has triggered this uh, new call for hostilities? What you saw, you 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 saw trending in the news. The claim by these fellows that they paid for the oil on our land. You also saw one fellow from Jigawa, including somebody as educated as uh, Dr. Bugaji, that the oil flowed from the north. 
is uh, vertical, so it flowed from the north, according to him, and deposited in the south. So the oil in Chad did not flow into uh, Boronu State. The oil in Niger did not flow into Katsina, Sokoto, etc. But it is the one in Sokoto that flew past Kogi, passed everywhere and got to River State and got to Bias and got to Delta State. This is a sick mind of these people. And so every time they they, they, they try to instigate crisis. They are merchants of crisis. And they think that with that they will survive. They will frighten everybody and everybody will run into their holes. So they will continue to, uh, as vampires, suck the blood of other people. Nigeria as a nation is a vampire. It sucks the blood of its people. You, you talk about Boko Haram, you talk about Bandit, you talk about ESN, you talk about IPOP. All these organizations are creation of the vampire state of Nigeria to suck the blood of our people. It is better for us. See, what uh, Avengers or whatever they are calling themselves fall short of the demand of the people of the area. The Avengers are talking about restructure. There is nothing to restructure about Nigeria. Nigeria has failed irretrievably. It has failed. There is nothing to remedy from Nigeria. There is nothing to cure about Nigeria. Nigeria is incurable. The best way to save you and I is for Nigeria to dissolve. It's for Nigeria to be totally dismantled. Let the people choose to be what they want to be. Let a referendum be held in all part of what is called Nigeria. And let us choose we what we want to be. Nobody can continually force on us a country called Nigeria, created in 1914 without the consent of the people that are called Nigerians. Do you think any government would allow that? Any government in the world would allow their, their country to <laughs> that dissolve? Is not, that is their business. They did not allow it in Ethiopia. It happened. They did not allow it in uh, Sudan. It happened. They did not allow it in the former Soviet Union. As strong as the former Soviet Union was, it happened. They did not allow it in Yugoslavia. It happened. They did not allow it in Czechoslovakia. It happened. So it will definitely happen here. Yeah. I am very yeah. confident and I am sure that it will happen here. Yeah. Okay, so, so what is the, um, is, is there a difference in the ideologies of uh, MEND, the movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta, and the Niger Delta Avengers? Uh, do, do they have the same um, ideologies and are they asking for the same things um, or totally different ideologies? I am not a member of MEND, I am not a member of Avengers, but I think that they have the same ideological uh, uh, frame, uh, structure. They are demanding for something that is already dead, something that is not possible. They are demanding for restructure. All this, the, the structural defect has lasted for a very long time. Like the building that collapsed in uh, Florida. This structural defect had been uh, identified a long time ago red flag that has been raised that the building has structural defects and is going to, something will happen. And they did not list it. For over 60 years, people have been saying Nigeria has structural defects. From that, they had it more. They, they pretended to become a republic in 1963. 1966, there was a coup. 1967, there was a civil war. 19, the civil war ended. They call themselves a federation Why they are a primitive, raw, brutal, uh, unitary uh, uh, government operating a very uh, brutal unitary system of government headed by the uh, Futajelon Gambaris and their collaborators uh, <laughs> praying on uh, the Jaws, the Chakris, the Ogonis, uh, the robots, etc., for their oil wealth. That is what has kept Nigeria together.
And so when Niger Delta Avengers talk about restructuring, I love. When men talk about restructuring, I love. I, I don't think that they are in tone with the present reality. The present reality clearly shows that Nigeria, as it exists, cannot continue this way. If it continues this way, you and I will not be safe. One day, people will come into our house and kill us, kill our children, and commit all sorts of atrocities against us, as is happening in the Northwest and the Northeast. It okay. will come down to, the, to every part of Nigeria. So the best thing for us to do is to quickly cure ourselves of this incurable disease by amputating Nigeria. Okay, Mr. Dokubo, I want us to be on the same page regarding what the motives of, you know, these groups, the men and the Niger Delta Avengers are. And you're saying they want restructuring. And would that be for resource control, to be able to control their oil wealth? Or is yes, that something else we're missing? Are, they feel that, I don't know what restructure is, but they feel that when Nigeria is restructured, Somehow, somehow, oil will be in control of the owners of the oil. It's a lie. Nigeria claimed to be a federal state, but it's not operating a federal system. So how are we sure today if General Muhammad Dua says, I think I want restructure. Oh yeah, we don't give one at the word restructure. And then all of a sudden, they will discover that there is nothing like restructure. They wanted uh, Niger Delta ministry. They gave them, is the Niger Delta Ministry uh, different from any other ministry? The Niger Delta Ministry is a convict file. The Niger Delta Ministry is a fictive ministry. It is one that's stealing billions of what belongs to us. Yeah, so, so, why, so why why is it? Goes about, goes about carrying uh, uh, this seed and going to a meeting. So yeah. that is what the Niger Delta Ministry is meant for. So you demand for one thing, they say, now nah, this one you want, or I will give you. That is not what we are talking. Okay. Well, we are I, I want to know. Nigeria is incurable. It's incurable. So just let it go. Well, um, Mr. Dukubo, why do you think the attention isn't focused on um, leaders on the local level, from local government chairmen to governors? Uh, to, of course, uh, likes of God's Will Akpabio, the uh, NDDC board and the, and the, and the likes. Why, why don't these agitators um, ask questions of these local levels um, on this, you know, on the state level? A lot of us journalists will pretend and hide, try to hide inside our shell. Nigeria operates a strong military system. And then PC is not in the hands of God's Will Akpabio. And then PC is not in the hands of Digima local government chairman where I come from. And then PC is not in the hands of the Garulos Wiki that always talking. It's not in his hand. And then PC is in the hands of General Muhammad Gwari. He's even the oil minister. He's the one who tells us how much is produced here in Digima. It's not the local government chairman. The local government chairman does not know anything. No information is given to him. So why do I go and blame the man I know that is the Babam Kiss? Babam Rao, Babam Furuma, that I know. Then I will leave him and pretend because I want to be politically correct and be looking for Wiki and be looking for Babio. When the Babam Kiss is in Abuja, controlling an NPC. Telling us that an NPC produced twice when an NPC after actually produced 50. See, let us not pretend and let us not do CCCC with these uh, issues. The issue is that we have a government in Abuja that steals. It's a team, team government, full government. It's in Abuja there. Hmm. When they steal and steal, they don't give a. Uh, uh, crumbs that falls on the massa table like uh, in the Lazarus story, and they give to River State, they give to Lagos State, they give to Degema local government. And you want me to run after the small, small team, the pickpockets, and leave the armed robbers that is in Abuja? Okay, I won't do that. Mr. Dokobo, um, right now, the Niger Delta Avengers put out a statement saying because of all the things that they want and they're not getting, they're going to begin to attack oil facilities in the country to lead to a permanent recession in Nigeria. What do you think that would achieve? 
And whatever it will achieve, what do you think Boko Haram is achieving and the bandits are achieving and the Fulani headsmen are achieving? Everybody to attend, all oh, Nigerians, everybody is applying uh, the best panacea he thinks that will work for them. Everybody is applying. Like I said, I do not believe that the Niger Delta Avengers or all in any other group here is serious because it is not demanding for the real thing the people need. Which is? The real thing the people... Restructure is nothing. It's nothing. There is nothing like restructure. There is nothing to restructure. When we understand this, it will be better for us. The real demand of the people, you see this flag behind me. This is the this is the Biafran flag. This is the real demand of the former Eastern region. It um, is the Biafran flag. It is the real demand of the of the of the Eastern region. Anybody pretending all right. Okay. We, Mr. Dukubo, pretending about it is wasting his time. All right, Mr. Dukubo, I, I want you to, you know, quickly um, also share your thoughts on what you um, expect from as a response from the federal government. President Buhari has said that these threats are unnecessary. Um, you know, I don't think anybody also wants any um, hostilities and loss of lives and property in the Niger Delta region. Um, do you expect, you know, that there is a meeting ground, there is a table of negotiation that the government and the Avengers can come to and uh, um, ensure that peace remains in the Niger Delta region? Nobody wants to die. I don't want to die. Do you look at me as somebody who wants to die? Nobody wants conflict. Well, me, when I'm talking, I, I, I say it very wrong. Now... The question we ask is Muhammad Buhari capable? Muhammad Buhari is he capable of engineering a process that will lead to peaceful resolution of the impasse all over the country, including the Niger Delta, and solving and uh, listening to the demand of the Niger Delta Avengers? I will tell you no, no. From its antecedent, it is not possible. Just give me a little time, uh, because I also sacrificed time to be here today. Muhammad Buhari came on board. Since he came, he has not appointed a substantive board for the NDDC. This is a man who said he wants to fight corruption. He has not appointed a substantive board. By law, this is a democratic government. What he's doing, the adult committees is appointing to manage NDDC. Though it's unknown to the laws of Nigeria. And to make matters worse, the National Assembly exposed the rot that is in his NDDC, anti-corruption fighter, Babam Thief in Abuja, we saw the rot in the NDDC. Nothing had happened. NDDC is a commission created by law and is in the constitution. This man, this uh, General Muhammad Buhari, took NDDC and put on that party. It has never happened under Niger Delta Ministry. NDDC preceded the so-called Niger Delta Ministry. And since then, nothing is happening. COVID relief. This was no project. Why? Because this man, Muhammad Bari, hates the people of the Niger Delta. He hates them. And he gathers people from here. Like what happened in the Bible when the Hebrews were asked by the Egyptian to walk. Did they go and employ any other person? They look for people, tax masters from among the Hebrews, and ask them to build the uh, pyramid, to build everything without straw. Right. Mr. Dukubo, 
This is what Muhammad Buhari is doing. So he's incapable of engineering a process that will, will lead to a peaceful resolution of the Umbar. Okay. Um, honestly, this, Mr. Dukubo, this conversation really, we, we have to um, continue to talk about this, see what plays out in the next few days, how the presidency reacts. Um, we'll be very grateful to have you back on The Breakfast sometime soon. And we thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thank you very much. Okay, let's take a break here and we'll return to discuss amendments to uh, the NBC-NPC um, bills. Do stay with us.